Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. And I want to do a painting reminiscent of one I just saw myself do earlier today. And I want to use my abalone as a sort of a sketch tool. And I want to do something on the diagonal. And I think in order to do this, I need to make a little alleyway of color. I want some negative, some white space in the background and I'm not sure I can get it, but I'm going to give myself an opportunity by using the abalone. Down the center, or the diagonal, I'm going to probably put some Australian Floetrol. This is, um, that was abalone prism pour. I'm a primary, <laughs> I'm a color art affiliate. And uh, these are prism pores and primary elements and blingets from Color Art. And the fun part of this right now is just going to be adding colors until I'm satisfied that I'm going to get something interesting. That was Tuscan Sun. It's a prism pour. This is sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush in it. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm going to put my colors down. They just have to feel comfortable to me. I thought I wasn't going to put any pink diamond in, but I'm being called to it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shake since I've shaken everything else except for this. Be really interested to see how this works because the last time I did this I did this with um, black enamel gloss enamel in fact so some places I don't want a full line and I do want to stack my colors on top of each other as well as making arrangements like I am this is a little bit of deep amethyst Another prism pour. Seems like it's a little thicker than I anticipated. But I'm liking the colors that I'm putting down. I'm being called to um, Blue Velvet, another prism pour from early on that I haven't shaken that I... Oh, please come out. Well, I have other blues if I can't get this. Oh, it decided to join us. Excellent. And if I put the blue next to the next to the light orange or the yellow, I'm probably going to make green, so I might as well just contemplate putting some green right in there right now. And what do I have? I have some Bitter Lime, which is a primary element from the new Harvest Moon selection. And that's kind of exciting. I like the how way that looks. That's a Zinga. I was definitely considering using some Royal Sapphire. A wonderful shimmering turquoisey lusciousness. I think less of that maybe. Here's a new wild orchid. I've been contemplating whether I want to put any black around the edges and I kind of do just to make sure that the colors all make it to the edge. Do I like everything I've got? I've got a crab apple from the new, from the, from the same Harvest Moon collection. Might not be good next to that green though. What am I missing? 
something. I have a beautiful pink called Passion. It's probably a little bit similar to the pink diamond. I don't think I can have too much pink. Speaking of something else, I think I'm going to slide in a little bit of this orange peel that I added gold sparkle to. And then I'm going to hit it with some gold and then I'm going to start the swipe. I think. I did pull out this Pevio Iridescent Blue Green, which I adore, and I think I want to go ahead and give myself permission to use that also. I think a lot of times the, the color at the forefront of where the swipe starts is going to be the dominant one. And I don't mind if this is one of those dominant ones. Alright, so that's quite a bit of color. I have thought about maybe spinning this out because I definitely didn't do that to the first one. I hadn't, I didn't have a spinner then. And I have my colors standing by in case I change my mind that I want something else. Like a little more yellow Tuscan Sun. Or even a little more of that sour lemon, which is pretty cool. So let's just go and try this. This is going to be my first, my first trial. So let's use the beveled edge. This is just a clothing tag. I'm going to scrape off my residuals in case I can use them. I think I'm going to put some of the Mayan gold. I might use some of, I think I'm going to use some white. This might be a way to maybe use a copious amount of cell activator, which could be like less than thrifty. I'm going to try and put some of my colors, instead of scraping them off in the dish, I'm going to put them down around the edge. I also thought about putting some spirals in this, which I did not do in the last one. And I can't, I've got to be patient because truly, if you wait a little while, the cells develop. And if you're jumping the gun and thinking that you're not getting what you want. Okay, so I tried it on the painting. I'm going to try it strictly on the card. Use my residuals I know are there to fill in the gaps. And it looks like I'm going to scrape it also. And this time I'm going to wipe it off. Now I've got some gold. I believe it's a combination of Pebio iridescent gold and Lots of things. You know what? It's time for me to pull out a different tool. So I'm going to use what? Uh, I'm going to use. Wow! I found a swipe card stuck to my spatula. White and gold. I want to use the other side of that. I've got all kinds of colors. Now, if you happen to like your design and you still have gaps, I wouldn't worry about it because the canvas is pre-primed. And I sometimes, I often like unswiped color, colorful areas. I got myself a little tiny card 
which might or might not be a good idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. With some first some black and then some white. I may try my small spatula. I think this has got to go right in here. And maybe even twice. Although I'm, that was the end of that yellow, that Tuscan sun. All right, it's time to keep keep right on going. I like to break up any hard lines I get, which I could break up when I when I put some spirals in if that's going to be the case. I am liking what I'm getting. I'd like to keep more of the of the yellow. I'm not sure how to get away with that. But I think oh, that yeah, that was it. <laughs> I hallucinated that it was just gold, not yellow. So it's been a few days since I was allowed to be in my studio because I've been making exhibition videos, so I hope you keep your eye out for those. They're 88 and 89 hundred series. Usually I have not in the past used my spatula to put paint right onto the spatula. I usually put it in the painting first. But it's the perfect time to drag that Tuscan sun around so I can keep it. I'm trying to be a little bit delicate and I'm glad I didn't put any black around the edges because I, I really don't mind having to scrape off my spatula's paint. Let's just try it. Gosh, I'm nervous. I always get nervous when I haven't done this for a few days. So don't feel like you're alone if that's the case for you. The outcome is very seldom known for fluid accidental art. I keep thinking that that's a space, but it's just some of the abalone that's hung behind. I don't have like the biggest cells in the world. I'm wondering if maybe I should use a card. I've got a fairly decent card. Let's do the white first. Let's do the white, the black, and the gold. Only I'm inclined to use... Did I even use any mint? In... I didn't use any. Any Mayan gold. I like to use the Mayan gold that's not got Australian flow troll in it. Whoops. <laughs> Give it a bit of a shake. As a topper to the black and the white. Okay. Am I really going to do this? That was kind of interesting. I think it's time for me to indulge my basting brush in filling in some spots. And maybe I'll be able to keep some of the colors that I see that I like that are left behind. I can hope that we'll still create some cells there because otherwise it's going to be kind of gray. I'm not sure the basting brush is the best tool for this, but I am creating some interesting color patterns. And nothing can keep me from running my spatula up and down. And I don't even have to use cell activator. I could just pounce. Because I like the colors I use. So let's put a little bit of cell activator right here right now. And we'll find out if it's going to sell or if it's just going to be a dark spot, which is not a bad place for a dark spot, to be honest with you. But things do keep selling. I am liking what I've got. I know I probably keep saying that, like I'm trying to convince myself, but I really do. You can't go wrong with the Color Art Colors. There is a 20% off Color Art coupon code that will lead you to the website. If you use it, it's the blue link under Show More. All 
Alright, what did I find the most useful? I think right out of the gate I got just putting the cell activator right on the canvas was kind of nice. And I can do that again. I might want to scrape that color off. I'm surprised that I'm actually using the, um, the spatula to do this. It wouldn't have been my first guess. And it took longer than I thought it was going to take. So I've got three minutes to tell you guys that I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pretty much seven days a week. I do sell my artwork. I'd like to sell my artwork. It would help me pay for art supplies. Speaking of that, thank you guys for everybody who makes a contribution through PayPal, and you can find the icon on the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube channel banner if you'd like to be of assistance. Just like the people who have joined my membership and have access to the members library of over 60 videos available to members only. I like this a lot. And I think at this point if I had spaces that I didn't think I had enough color, I could just use my squeeze bottles and put some color in there. But in the meantime, I don't have too many gaps, and I have a little bit of white from the abalone, which I'm happy happy about, and a little bit of white from the from the cell activator. And if I want any more texture, I can just pounce or drag my little Princeton Archel Catalyst spatula that you can find on my Amazon link. And if you shop my Amazon link, it's at no it cost to you. And on the four different categories of lists, you're going to find my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. Now I've got a little bit of paint in my dish and I think chances are good that I'll just go around the edge and look for any spots that seem to be lacking enough paint. Because paint will flow to paint and the paint on the and my, that I'm adding on the edge is probably going to help the other paint flow over. Loving, loving, loving my colors. I'm so happy you guys joined me. I hope you come again. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I really appreciate your comments. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to be of assistance and you have Christmas shopping to do, you could do yourself and me a favor and check my link tree for my Society6 and my Legalerist clothing. Well, it's more than just clothing, but it's made in Montreal and it's, and it's very, very chic um, and worth seeing. I'm contemplating hitting this really quickly. We might create some cells. I just love the drama. And if I get a minute, I'm going to shimmer this at you, if I can. I'm also going to keep my eye out for little gaps and just poke my spatula into them. Because no matter what I say about being okay with them, I still want them gone. <laughs> when it push comes to shove, goodbye gaps. But they will dry so you'll hardly notice them. And if you were going to resin, you would never ever see them at all. I promise that. Okay. So I've got one minute supposedly. And this is tremendous. Ooh, baby. What fun. I'm going to have to get up on my step stepladder. There's also a studio tour if you um, put studio tour in the search box. I just did a studio tour recently. And you can see the setup, the camera mounted, all that other good stuff. What a gorgeous, fun piece of art. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I hope you come again. Whatever I haven't told you, you'll see in another video. I have 28 lists going on 29 lists of 100 videos and also playlists by topic and genre. And if you need any assistance, I've got them all saved. All the links are really convenient for me to give you. So. Just know I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Spring Hill Florida, and uh, doing this sort of depends on donations and selling my art. So if you're interested in purchasing an artwork, you would be of vast assistance to me. Thank you so much for being here. I love you much. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you anon. Priscilla out.